Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Catching Up with Bacon and Burger. My name is Ryan Burger. My name is Amanda Bacon. And we're here with uh, Michelle Bean and Chantel Myers from the community uh, Schilling Community Center. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to talk about a brand new uh, kind of festival. It's kind of rebranded, our kind of patriotic summer thing called Rockin' the Block. So you want to tell us maybe uh, when it is, where it is? And well, Rockin' the Block, we are taking over Adams Avenue, which is behind Reisner in between Octo Rec. Um, it's going to be a block party type event, so we're really excited about it. It's on Saturday, June 29th from 2 to 10 p.m. Nice. It's an all-day event. We're super excited. It's going to be awesome. So is this event open to all ages, everybody? or? It is. It's open to all ages, everyone, anyone who can get on base from off base. It's just an all-around family event open to anyone. That's awesome. What about like our furry family members, their pets? They <laughs> are not invited. <laughs> um, we cannot allow pets or glass, and we can't um, have people smoking on site either. Right. Definitely no mm -hmm. smoking. So. All the safety concerns, Definitely. understandable. Mm -hmm. So uh, what kind of stuff can we do at the Rock in the Block, I man? Entertainment, games, food? Please say there's food. <laughs> there is going to be lots of food. We have over 14 food vendors coming. 14. 14. So it's going to be a whole row, block of, row and block of uh, food. And there's going to be Japanese food, American food, ice cream, kettle corn, funnel cake, you name it. It's probably going to be out there. So um, make sure you bring cash and dollars and yen. Both will be accepted. Uh, so just it's going to be a, a good time with lots of that. There's also Kitty Land. What's going to be at Kitty Land? Yes, yeah, so we'll have rides and inflatables for them, and then there's going to be game booths, I believe, also. Cool. So, and we heard sure. we heard there's going to be some awesome entertainment. Can you tell us more about the bands that are coming? Yes, yeah, so we actually have about six bands, I believe, coming to perform for us, and one of them, a couple of them, is Porky's. They performed last year at our America. Ro rocking the red, white, and blue. Oh, yes, that one <laughs> last year. Um, and then we also have Saul. Sword, Sword of the Far East. Of the Far East, they're yes. Amazing. Yeah, they're amazing. Yeah, we were at Akuma Fest, they yeah. were there. They're really, really they're good. They're really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're excited to bring them down here to Kadena to perform. And we have a bunch of other bands, Nine Long Lives, The Groove. Um, but definitely we're most excited about our headliner. Who's um, that? Armed Forces Entertainment is uh, teaming up and bringing us One Republic. Whoa. That's so cool. Yeah. Nice. Yes. I don't know about you, but I really like them. <laughs> <laughs> she really likes them. They're so I awesome. Do. They're good. Yeah, if you've heard some of their songs, uh, Stop and Stare, Secrets, uh, Good Life. They even have a bunch of new stuff that you probably hear on the radio all the time with AFN. Um, so we're super excited to bring them. They're just finishing a huge tour, and they're stopping through and doing a performance for the troops, and we're excited oh, to have that's them. That's great. That'd be great. So I know there's a lot of information coming up still on tickets and shuttles and everything else, but we're going to take a quick break. So just hold on tight, and we'll get you some more information coming up soon. everybody now we're gonna get started with some more ticket information um, I know personally I'm really excited about this event and I really want to come so do I need to get tickets or no tickets aren't actually included so all you have to do is just show up to the site and join in on all our festivities it'll be great so that what is. you're telling me is it's free yes it is free free is good the event <laughs> is free there will be fees for um, the food and the and the rides right. in the kitty land area but for overall the event the is event free, is free yes. yeah it, That's awesome. So clearly it's going to be a packed house. I mean, you got all this food, you got games, you're going to have fireworks, uh, you're going to have One Republic amongst many other bands. So 
There's gonna be a lot of people, which means a lot of cars, so what are we gonna do about parking? Where can I park? Uh, you, we are gonna have shuttle locations, so definitely park at your shuttle locations. Um, and there's different areas like in front of Reisner, the Olympic shop at area, but we ask that uh, you please park in actual parking spaces, designated area. Don't park in housing unless you live in housing area. Um, and don't just park on the side of the road, uh, particularly because there's a lot of, with the venue, there's a lot of safety areas that we're very um, concerned about. Uh, so if you just park on the side of the road, you could kind of impede in the safety mm -hmm. process and um, as well as the fireworks zone and whatnot. So we um, utilize the shuttles. There's gonna be free shuttles um, and more information will come out on that, specifically specifically so where you can, can pick those up um, or just walk onto the event you know especially if you live nearby right so uh, we want people to remember all that stuff just don't park on the side road particularly so right cool. so this big band one republic is coming is there any way people can meet them or go backstage or anything they actually can enter a contest to meet the bands after their performance um, all they have to do is go to our facebook page it's facebook slash kadena community center um, you'll go to our events tab, find concerts, and then click attend, and then you're automatically in for the chance to win um, a meet and greet with One Republic. That's great, so it's easy too. It is, super easy. And how many people win out of, like there's probably going to be tons of people entering, are there a right. lot of people that get to go backstage too? About 10 people will get this chance to go ahead and wow. meet the band. So It's a good number. It's a good number, yeah. Yeah, 10 people and a guest. And we, we may have some other surprises, so you definitely want to stay tuned to all our um, marketing avenues to hear about if there is other chances to meet them. Um, we're always working on things and trying to see what right. things we can create. Trying to hook everybody up. Yeah, right? yeah <laughs> take care of everyone. So, But definitely it's a free show, open to all. We want everyone to come and enjoy it. They're going to have... Um, they're going to just do a great performance for everybody and I know they're excited to come here yeah. and um, they will be followed by fireworks so that's really yeah, just that's a great way to end the event. Nice. But the event doesn't end there. Um, the event actually ends at 10 and fireworks and all that stuff will probably end about 9.20 or somewhere around there. Um, so we're still keeping the fun going for those of age. We will have a beer garden with kind of like an after party cool. on site. Nice. Yeah. So That's if you're good. of age, um, you can partake in that. And uh, we also want people to know that 8 o'clock is when we shut down Kitty Land. Mm -hmm. So make sure you come early and enjoy all that because um, about that time we want everyone, we'll shut that down and we want everyone to enjoy the concert. Right. Right. So obviously you guys are taking over that entire area there. Are there going to be any closures or anything that we need to know about? places that maybe won't be open during the uh, festivities? There will, and there might be some slight inconveniences as we try and get the area ready for um, the customers to enjoy. So uh, we're definitely going to minimize the impact as much as possible, um, but we will be shutting down parts of Adams Avenue throughout the week of. Um, Outdoor Rec will be open all week, so please still utilize their services. You just may have to be, may go around to get to them. Um, we are shutting down the parking lot behind Reisner, as well as the softball field and all that. So, and the biggest thing we want people to remember is that um, it is a fireworks zone. So we are going to have signage and fencing and ropes and stuff that please obey those. Um, it's it's for your safety, and, right. and we uh, yeah. want to make sure people realize that because um, during the actual firework time frame, there will be stoppage on the on Douglas and throughout the whole fireworks fallout zone. Um, for about 15, 20 minutes while the show is going Yeah, on. we don't want so okay. anybody then, getting hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so it's really important that we ask people to please, um, you know, follow the, the safety and follow all the signage and stuff out there, and um, we'll do our best to minimize the impact for everyone, but um, it's going to be a great event, and it really will be worth a little bit of the uh, the inconvenience right. uh, for the time frame of Small the Small price to pay for yeah. a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. For <laughs> sure. And touching on safety, we just also want to remind everyone who's going to the event to please drive responsibly. Yep. Um, either get a wingman to help drive you home, or there's going to be shuttles and the taxis. Mm -hmm. So, yep, free taxi vouchers. That's great. So we can help you make sure you're safe and, and responsible. Great. Um, also, you know, we're going to be learning so much more about this event as it comes closer. And for people who maybe don't know the area as well or might not understand exactly where we're talking about, we're going to have another episode of Bacon and Burger that shows more of the setup and what's going on as it unfolds. So make sure to check out our show and also venture um, our respective Facebook pages and the KadenaFSS.com <laughs> website. 
Yep. And there's actually a full page ad right here on the back of Venture Magazine with yep. all your additional information. It's pretty fancy. Yeah. So make sure facebook.com slash Kadena Community Center is our page. Um, we'll be putting information out there, pictures, videos, all kinds of stuff as we get closer. We're super excited about this event. And we're even going to have all kinds of prizes and contests coming uh, up. Yes. So we will always be kind of streaming that information and that's one of the uh, great places to get it. Cool. Okay. Well, any other information? So just a real quick rundown. It's on June 29th. June 29th from 2 to 10. 2 to 10. On Adams Avenue, which is behind Reisner Fitness Center. Cool. And it, there's going to be food, fun. Um, what else? Fireworks. fireworks. <laughs> like One fireworks. Republic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Armed Forces Entertainment brings One Republic. And it's going to be a great time. And awesome. stay tuned for more details, definitely. That's great. Well, thanks, uh, Chantel and Michelle and Amanda, my co-host, Bacon. <laughs> And this has been a, our first episode of Catching Up with Bacon and Burger. And uh, I guess we'll see you guys at Rockin' the Block. Have a good one, guys.